What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Jonathan the Gamer Dude here. Welcome to you back to some more Danganronpa, where uh, today we are taking and tackling chapter three. Um, now, here's the the kicker: is my computer decided it wanted to almost? It's dying. Why is my computer dying? It's literally a wired computer. Don't die. Anyways, <laughs> why? The game just doesn't want to be heard, apparently. Okay, like, fine. Also, this is not good that my computer's trying to die. No, don't do that. Anyways, sniff, 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 sniff. Who is that? Oh, it's Owie. Okay. But I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Is she gonna suicide? No. No. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. No. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to. No. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Yes, go eat your donuts. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, malasadas. Okay. Oh, God of donuts. I am praying for your wonderful encounter. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. What's that sound? What is that sound? I don't like that. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. What is Monokuma doing and why is he doing it? I'm super scared, but... It is... Is someone there? <gasps> uh... now that looks like Chihiro chapter 3 the next generation legend stand tall galactic hero with F Fuji and Fuji Saka and Sakura in thumbnail oh no God, the cast looks so small. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today kinda sucks, huh? Toko and Bayakia still refuse to show up. I haven't seen Mrs. Asihina in anywhere. <clears throat> she said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room today. Oh. That's rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So, it's just the seven of us then? It looks that way. How about that? In times like this, where the committee chairman needs to get things going with the bang. Impossible. Or not. Talk hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look on his face showed that he hadn't slept a wink last night. It was. It must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro, and then having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what he must have done. To, what it must have done to him. Well, so I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if Elp is ever gonna come. <laughs> eh, I'm like... so depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> We simply just have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forgive, forget about the outside world and accept this new life. The only hope is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well, we have to. We ha here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, and e every need is seen. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> in fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition? Discrimination? 
victimization and violence as society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, our current situation not... Demon angel pretty pudgy princess! Huh? What? Here we go! Maggie, the drill shop owner and bunny ear Amazon cat girl dog boy robo justice and the galactic king! And... and... What I mean is there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. The mastermind puts such base desire into their advantages, breeding you to their will. You know? Okay. Well, anyway, since Taka's like ca catatonic? Hero saying a word that I don't know? Wow. Good job, Hero. Hmm. As the oldest one here, I am officially stepping up to take lead. So, we're gonna work to freaking computer stop we're gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school searching I'm right, well right? i mean the class trial is over and all Perhaps. there should be a new places for us to investigate hmm. yeah and the ticket maybe we'll find some clue this time well then then of course once we're done eating let's split up again and look around do you have a problem with that celeste <laughs> hmm there may as well be a discovery waiting for us, which is further, which may in further enrich our life here. And um, no, if the point is to look for clues. And just as we started to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, and so I appeared. Genocide. What? And nobody called for you. Uh, um. What the? How come it's Genocide Joe and not Toko? Yes! God, this place is amazing! I can finally reach just be my murderous self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back, spread my wings, and no more hiding in a cave for me! Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight! The whole killer split personality thing so overdone! I gotta destroy that stereotype! Yeah, that I fight me. all day, all night, to murder those totally slanderous cliches! Uh, um. But you... Are a killer with a split personality. Uh, if she wasn't here, my chances of survival would be at least 10%. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta be back me up here. Even the biggest stars need a little people to hold them up. <laughs> oh boy. Well, whatever else we do today, we should first eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> Jesus, Toko. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our cert, our much needed and very annoying meal, we were set to work around the school. Okay, nothing out of the normal here. I think I think what it's gonna want us to do is go to floor three or whatever. So let's get that map started. Yeah, hallway to floor three. Is floor three available to us? Yes. The third floor of Hope Peak Academy. I wonder what we're going to find this time. What's up here? What is this? Okay, it's another... It's a warehouse. This looks like an auto shop, maybe? Oh, no. It's a rec room. Oh, God. Somebody's going to get killed with a dart in the rec room. Hmm. So this is Let's see. a recreation room. A place where students can come and relax. I would have never imagined a school having a place like this. Well, no normal school would, but it has Othello, Shoji, and even a dartboard and a tool play pool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello! L allow me to expound. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, and all kinds of magazines. Bum, bum. But, nothing dirty. This is a school, after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit magazines. So then. And you will be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. 
Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda, kinda what? Watch out! Oops, nothing, never mind, no, 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 no. Anyways, that's it for my expoundation. Bye bye! What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be much nicer if we could add some new issues for once in a while. How disappointing. Really? Okay. Othello. The table here, kind of similar to the desk in the classroom, but it's also kind of not. Okay, dartboard. There's even a dartboard. Did Monica put this here, or was it always part of the school? Another Monica coin. The chair is probably going to be like, this is a normal chair. Oh, no, it's the magazine. All kinds of different magazines are on the shelf. They say a bunch of mo monthly comics, but without getting here regular updates, what's the point? The hitboxes on things are kind of weird in this game. A firm-looking leather couch. It looks pretty comfortable. It does look comfortable. I would sit in it. Looks like some kind of bottle, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's decoration or something. It's a beat up old locker. Doesn't seem especially important right now, as I don't need to. So I don't need to open it. Leave the area, sure. So we've seen the rec room. Don't need to talk to Kyoko. I don't think, anyways. This is kind of like, kind of like the last section where it was like traverse every store or every place. This looks like a museum art place, possibly. Yes, an art room. At first glance, it looks like any normal art room, but something seems off, or multiple things. <laughs> wow, wow, look at all the equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch for me. Art supplies, of course, and they also collected some kind of sculpting tools. So, Fumi, do you like sculptures and figures and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but fingerings are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of char uh, Charon Bowl, pumpkin head, and I especially admire this anything th that Sabrero Ron Paul Bongi makes. Charambo, his ability to express the movement and muscles is exquisite. I have seen in his Mama Cat series, Pumpkinhead is a little sculpture fairy representing this century's greatest equality. Saburo, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Mezums series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can be regarded with the uh, regarded as the elite four. But one of your elite is missing. You know well, the elite three just sounds stupid. Who now doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, the empty speed belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it begins today. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. Well, I see. Good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. No. This is a statue of Neo. I've never really heard of Neo. Anyone using a Neo statue for life drawing classes or whatever. Michelangelo. This is a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art room-ish. Monokuma statue. Let's go. That's a statue of Monokuma. Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. I have so many Monokuma tokens right now. It's actually not even funny how many Monokuma tokens I've got. Art wall. There's paintings and lining on the walls. Is this really art? It just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. I'm assuming I meant to spend a lot of Monokuma tokens at once. I'd better look at stuff a bit more. Oh, the locker things. It's a locker, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. I'd better look around a bit more. The door. Hmm. This is a repository that's attached to the art room. It used to be different artsy things. What is this? Why? That looks like Leon. No! It is Leon! No! And Jihiro! Why are they all 
together like that. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if my own hand froze. I'm gonna cry, game. I'm not allowed to do that. What I saw in that picture was Jahiro, Mondo, and Leon. And they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after another. Why is why is it only those three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? Was it taken? Who took it? Where was the what was the camera they used? How did they get it developed? And in the picture, the in the window of the classroom, there's a metal plate covering it. Which must mean wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope Peak. There was no time for to find an answer. All questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by that's mine. Give it back. Monokuma appeared to out of nowhere and snatched the photo at any chance I had to answer as it answered. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on in that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind. Honestly, Monokuma, what the heck? Also, that's mallets. I don't like that. Wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, they're used for making sculptures. Well, yeah, 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 duh. But, like, also. And there's a cart to, like, a dolly so they can move the statues around. <sighs> the fact that Chihiro and Leon and Mondo. Because, like, I don't even fault Mondo for what he did. Am I sad that he did it? Of course. But, I mean, I kind of understand a little bit. I'm not defending him by any means, but I'm not like gonna be like, how dare you? A physics classroom. That looks like a sneaky contraption. This is a, a physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. But yeah, that's, that's very sneaky. Hey, Taka, do you think this place is some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Okay, maybe our free time should be with Taka. Not even gonna lie, that might not be a bad idea. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. Why can't I? Oh, there it is. Where's the hitbox on this? They must use research or this for physics experience. These kind of materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! What? 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 <laughs> what? Do you want some kind of quantum leaping? Huh? That it's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by the students right here at Hope Peak Academy, the ultimate physicists. Although you, they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. A, a time machine? Seriously? I can go back in time? Okay, then let me get there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I can stop Mondo for sure. Oh, sorry. Not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza and bagels in the microwave for one minute too long. One minute? Huh? You sound disappointed. But, like, actually, I was lying about the whole thing. Anyway, there's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey! Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier. In other words, it can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you can even live on Mars. But what? what's with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures? Y'all probably don't want to live on Mars. Anyways, this, time, this machine is the reason you guys all have delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it, and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier. And more than that... To go out of the way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering? God damn you, Monokuma. 
Another hidden door. So this this area is about hidden doors, and I don't know. That's sketch. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized. There's a strange chemical smell in the air. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is unbearable. It's so tempting. Ah, I just want to dunk myself right in. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That's That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. This is a tarp. There isn't anything strange about it. It seems perfectly ordinary to me. Something ordinary, at least. Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, and all equipment is scattered all over. They are all covered in dust, too. They obviously haven't been used in such a long time. I better look a bit more. Oh, the door was what they was trying to. The other thing was trying to point me out. Okay. Am I supposed to talk to Taka? I think I already talked to Taka. I did already talk to Taka. The camera. Oh, this is. It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, still works. So I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and all this uh, and it was all strange, but I don't know of any clue what it is. I'm just gonna get any more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everybody else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. To the dining hall we go. Hi Hina. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was Ah uh, Hina. I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Huh? Uh, I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me, crowded around Hina. Being surrounded like er by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better today? <laughs> yeah, I had a few donuts and that helped a bit. Y you do love your donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well, well my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so you know. <laughs> or, uh, I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss mm. Uh, mm. Isihina mm. is pretty much the same, it looks like. Just a second. Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well. Anyways, I was worried about Sorry. you. Besides that, you... Huh? huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? How did you convince them to double up with the milk production? Oh, 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 oh my god. Stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um. Anyways, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? You know, I hate to say it. I really do hate to say it. Hero taking charge and taking lead. I wonder if he's just a mega introvert. Because him taking charge like this is actually cool to see. Hmm. Right? If you want to lead, I'm actually going to talk to you first. You're kind of earning a little bit some, some hmm. respect here. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Biakia a while ago. What? Wait, where is he? You, you're kind of scaring me. Where was he? He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books. He must have got it from the library. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. She just ran off. Is is she is she okay? We should not concern ourselves with her. We shouldn't. You're right. Honestly, Celeste, I feel that. Allie? So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help with the investigation much, but I did make one discovery. It be... Did it happen to be donut-related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does it even mean? Right. Never mind. 
I hope it's about the nurse's office. Nurse's office. Remember, there's that one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it was locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find a protein in there or a vitamin supplements? That would be mm. fine. I did not. I did look, but no dice. Kind of a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Kyoko? Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, the machine was bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. But apparently it's just an air purifier. Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing there? Mm. It's it, Is this device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. Uh. Mm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls were blocked off. Mm. I wish they'd give this a rest already. For serious, give me back my blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Mm. Be sure... Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing them each metal plate. None of them so budged. The it would be, seem that escape via the third floor is as possible as we feared. Mm -hmm. There was an art room on the third floor and had all kinds of gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be able to recreate my anime characters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of anime, this reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. A digital camera? That makes sense. That's what it seems hmm. like. Does it work? Yeah, it seems you fine. Know. Well, then let's see what it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing's kind of like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store five pictures, maybe. Does it have a timer or anything? Well. On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. It's kind of a strange air anime character. Strange. No, no. Rude. She's not strange. She's Princess Pickles from the Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this one for me? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given to any away at a bingo contest at an anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah! Wait, that's my camera. What? Damnation! Where did you find it? In the physics lab? <laughs> It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it on the first day along with my phone. Why would you have re why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However, eh, but look at it. It got all messed up. Like someone else steal steals a sticker from your collection or and you buy it secondhand shirt. Well that's it. Huh? That's it. <laughs> it's not this mint condition. I don't need it anymore. But weren't you saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Mm. Well, can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. The, the fact that Hifumi was like, I can throw it away now. It's like, bruh, Mr. Krabs face. Honestly, like, why? Leaving is not going to do any good. Well, no, but I tried. Oh, I haven't talked to Celeste technically yet, I don't think. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There is just so happens to be a rec room in the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> hmm. Will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. Now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I actually tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of bothering me. What? Well, what is it? I found a weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like dirty? No, no, no. Not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Shihiro all together. Why? Those three. Those three were. And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Um... It showed the three of them together laughing. When could that have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then the picture wasn't taken Let's here. See. But I don't recall hearing any of them knowing each other before coming to this school. Well. You probably just imagined it. Monica can cast a spell on you. No, I saw it, I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got How here, I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible after all. 
We saw it with our own eyes. They're, they're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's... Sayaka. That was not an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. Can't imagine that any other possibility. Forged. Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. But more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there's something that has been bothering me, and I would like to discuss it. And Celeste, what do you want to discuss with us? <laughs> There's also been something that has been bothering me, and I'd like to discuss it. Yeah, I would have... What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually... It's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said that your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that that was a lie. What really happened? <gasps> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell... Something you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever he lies, the tip of her nose gets a little longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed that you were, in fact, lying. Oh. But that's not fair. <laughs> hmm. If you're gonna lie, then at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you tell a lie about that? That's it. Are you sure feeling guilty about something? Just a second. No, no, that's not it at all. But... I'm just... I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Hina? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomachache. I did because I can't... Even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. Well... The truth. I saw it. Saw what? A, a ghost. Mm -hmm. Ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there one? Is there more than one ghost? But, I mean, ghosts are. What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that we don't believe you, but. Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, you can tell us exactly what happened. If you really mean that, Sakura. Then, okay, I'll tell you. So, so um, um, it happened last night. I was in bed and couldn't go to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that happened till now, and I ended up being more upset. So I tried to cheer myself up. I thought I would huh? go grab some donuts. Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignored the rude regarding night rule regarding nighttime? Sorry. I know, I'm sorry. I feel really bad about yeah. that. Anyways, please continue. But... Well... So I left my room and headed to, for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from a direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There was no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? No way! No. Go, 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 go. Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. It is just a case of paranormal activity, so it was born to be weakened by your well, mental weakened mental state. Then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it's a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, then it'll be the end of it. What? what? Are you saying you're gonna go try and see a go go ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Hmm. How about you and Mrs. Mr. Easy Maru? How about you and Mr. Easy Maru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. I guess that's a yes. So, um, it was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um, uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on. Come on. La la, cutting with a headache. 
<laughs> shut up, shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina. Where did, was it where you saw Chihiro's well. ghost? Well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, it was a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Hina said it was in the locker. I had better check. Um, is it this locker? There was something in here. Huh? Inside the locker was a laptop. What was something like that hey. doing here? I remember seeing this. Oh, right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a, a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep load, but the power's definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I bet Chihiro fixed it. After all, she's known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not ex mistake the light off the monitor for a ghost? <laughs> I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Oh man, if I had a cute, cute loveless girl's attitude, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. <laughs> well, I didn't expect to really be find a freaking laptop in a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Mm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I spotted a great alien and turned out to be a topple. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Don't. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I got get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't it really strange that this laptop with a cell phone was doing here? Maybe someone hid it here. But, but if that was the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here. I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference. There's no surveillance cameras. Yes, it's me. Precisely. There's no cameras in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. Are you hmm. trying to say that hmm. someone put the laptop in here hmm. so the mastermind wouldn't know about it's it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't an ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was a figure of Chihiro, shining, a pale and green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in more detail. It's just like Kiyako said. Our display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So, first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I stare I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. And the display instantly began to grow, pale green. There's a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There's an icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it's not uncommon to create different aspects of personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor on the alter ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark, and a voice then spoke to us. Master, you're here. Shihiro's face appeared, talking up, taking up the entire display. Oh! It's, it's a ghost, Buddha, and sweet baby Jesus. Save me. Calm down. Calm down. It is not a ghost. Wh what? Huh? Um. Then what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we talk to it, we'll find out. You could be hand to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Shihiro Fujisaki. <laughs> <laughs> I always get embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone, and everything. Mm. It's Jahiro. I knew it. Alter Ego, some kind of AI program, and we've never seen one for myself. AI That's program. That's right. It's how Jahiro earned the title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer and is repeating different tasks. It gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Jahiro had used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough of artificial intelligence and design, support vector machine, reinforcement it's learning. True. Just put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, just Google it, sure okay? It. In other words, 
But if the AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say AI like this might someday replace people. Mm. And that's why it's called an alter ego. Fine choice, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, grow up, process it isn't that much different from the way humans work. <laughs> if you really want to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality can never forget or grow old. That's what Chiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyways, he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there, which means, yes, that he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm. But you know this all this master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I believe I'm on fire. Oh. I thought you were only into 2D. <laughs> it's the most excellent 2D possible. Oh. He's a guy and also a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect. Anyway. Anyways, let's talk to him a little bit more. Kiko typed away, rhythmatically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. master, I only have a general... My master only gave me a general yeah. idea. But I do know that things become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without a warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? Well. Are you asking what master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the master massive number of files stored on this laptop. Uh. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a bit longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. In fact, that the files are protected so tightly means that they contain some important secrets. For example, perhaps the secret of the school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her the next question. How much longer until everything is unlocked? That's right. Um, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to but I'm definitely going to do it, so I'm, you can just leave it to me. I see. So, because of how long it's going to take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It means that he, the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry. I have a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if any suspicion shows up, <laughs> I'll just scream for help loud, real loud, it's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That's fine. During the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay? Have with you this? forgotten all the rooms are completely soundproof? Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants and he won't hear a thing. Okay then. How about once nighttime once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. However There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then. Once nighttime comes, I'll leave to my dorm. Or I'll leave my dorm room open. There's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But But if you leave your door open all night, then It's true. There's a chance that I may become a victim myself. I know. However. But I am not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was something similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different, and yet had an entirely different feel for sure, like someone who'd been dropped into a battlefield versus someone who was born on a battlefield. It felt like a fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts, and a voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um, I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed not to know what to do. She recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear and concise and direct. Jihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. He, to be honest, I, I knew all along. I knew the chances Master would survive this situation was very low. Also, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow, I feel kind of sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your own other <laughs> self. It is simply a computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyways, that's enough for today. If we think you're here too long, the master and I will start to suspect something. Then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do it. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different than when we first arrived. It seemed upbeat. 
Was it just because he was following his programming, or could it have actually been worried about could us? Could it be? Huh. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, no, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get the laptop online. Then we could call for help outside. Hmm. But the dressing room. I don't think we can get online from here. Well? Well, if we have taken it out of here and find somewhere it does have online access. <laughs> There's none of that's too, way too dangerous. The mastermind would find out in no time. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for needless risks. For now, I will monitor the progress file analysis. I am confident we will uncover some kind of clue once it is finished. Mm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it cannot be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <sighs> Goodbye. We'll be back, I promise. <sighs> Come on, Hufumi. I... Let's go. Okay. Well, and with all that, we left the dressing room. As soon as we were, as soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? As if, and as if he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> da da da! Hina has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So, what was this awesome thing? Monokuma. What the heck? You guys all seem remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, no, no. Nothing in particular. Yeah. Oh, keeping secrets. No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. <laughs> denied, denied. Super denied. Yeah, yeah. Because just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. What? Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Huh? Wait, well, uh, what do you mean by do it, do it? Yes. Ew, gross. You said do it. What? You said it first. <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We had not a chance to relax. We had, we have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, and that's why we are so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which, <laughs> okay, boys, we don't... Why don't you all head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. Aw, oh, jeez. What are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. Oh. Well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with a ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back to the dressing oh. room. Oh. Um, Damnation! Nothing, damn it. We totally lost. Another day without getting our to take our very first bath here. Uh. Um, yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get a bath that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey. Hold on. Hey. Hey. Something strange here. Very, very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <gasps> What's strange is this is a perfect ta chance for you to sneak peek. Huh? <laughs> oh, uh, that's that's you're absolutely right. <sighs> I thought you were all about 2D. <laughs> all you need is to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. The idea that's it's the ideal setting for a man's fantasy. So I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathroom like Monokuma said, or should I quietly go back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hey! hall. What? Wah -wah? But what about your man's fantasy? I'm sure the real man's fantasy should be a, should be spying on girls and stuff. It should be more like about your hopes, your dreams of an adventure or whatever. But anyways, I'm not going to spy on them. This is kind of I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. That was a primo opportunity you just slid by. We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuna standing there alone. But to be honest, even while I was a little reluctant to turn down that offer... Fantasy, like... fantasy, my fantasy. Uh, so I guess you dig the real thing, just like every other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. The only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating my figures. A real woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay, maybe. No way. If the girls heard you say that, you we'd all be dead meat, dude. Meanwhile, we heard buzzing as busy voices growing louder. Then the girls finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Aw, oh, man, we had a nice this bath. This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. 
Of course. Normally, after a long bath I, like that, I'd make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, no time for that! So in the end... That's what I figured. Huh? Actually... We were just saying that in the bath, how about time... It's time for you to get up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. You're all really so terrible to me. My entire Everyone's so cold and mean. After I got presents for you all? Presents? Well now, well now, um, well now, well oh, now. Oh, I've got your attention? Huh. Then let's head to the gym where your presents await. See ya No later. question, no diggly dallying. Get a move on. Everyone will become closer. Oh. Um, what is this? What are you scheming this time? It would seem... He's probably going to repeat the same thing again, providing us a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have alter ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us correct. for now. We have to endure it. Become it what may. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But as we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To keep us waiting, like by the likes of you, rest assured, if we had our access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Bayakia, did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that why you were late? It's simple right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. <laughs> uh, the same as always. I see her on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie down herself, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze when she came back to her old self. <laughs> So it goes from manic to depressive to whatever she sneezes. Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> what the oh, heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bu buzz. <sighs> so when you want to say something mean, then you can just talk, well. huh? Anyways, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... It looks like everyone's here, so then let's get started. What? Come on, come out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this However. time? However. Whatever you subject to us to, uh, us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to lose to you ever again. Come on. <laughs> don't even get, you don't even have to get defensive. Calm down. I've started to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been get, using the whoosh in the north and the wind to get you all moving. <laughs> But sometimes you gotta use the sun and the light and the fire under somebody's butt. Without further so, ado, I give you this! Money? Ten million dollars! Oh my god, why do we have so much money? I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! No! Oh, that's that's huge motive. Monokuma, you son of a gun. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. Oh my god, Monokuma. It's like totally wow, 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 am I right? So that's the motive you prepared for us, isn't it? Ten million dollars, <laughs> yes. That's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money is certainly a gold standard, so to speak. Whatever, it, whether it's a mystery novel or a real world. Mm. But what are you saying? There's no way we kill each other over the other for money. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's uh, life. Um. You can say ten million dollars or however much. I don't give a care. It's for serious. Yeah, they're totally right. Whether it's ten million dollars or any amount of money. No, it's not even the money. From now on. No matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. I can't the wait. most important I can't thing wait. is to give a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared without leaving a words along or without leaving his words along with the massive sum of money. Um... There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? Hmm. Have you quickly forgotten the lesson from the last time? You can't judge others by your own standards. <laughs> yeah, there there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> 
Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from yeah, gambling efforts. My life is pretty comfortable. Uh, I'm telling you! Hifumi, what about you? You know nothing! I'm a super popular content creator. I don't take... I don't have any problem making enough to buy comics and DVDs. Yeah. Then, 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 then. Hey! Just stop. Pressuring others about their personal finances is ugly. <laughs> uh, uh, ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever's gonna happen will happen without warning. That is the true nature of this game. Hmm. <clears throat> this is as such. Soon the doors to the dine. Okay then. So hmm. That is. It's that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I will be leaving my door open to make sure that nothing happens to Alter Ego. Just because my door is open, don't assume that it'll make me an easy target. Because. Or the predator may suddenly find itself its prey. Her voice was so calm and composed, but it was clear she went what she said. You know? Okay, okay. Let's everyone head back to our room. How about that? And I don't think about this whole money thing, right? Got it? Good. Then let's break. Hmm. How about that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Hmm. Right? Taka's so not okay. As soon as I went back to my room, I crawled into bed. Money? There's no way that's going to get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about the, our, having our secrets revealed. Even if there was a reason for it, it seems completely all nonsensical. A murder can still happen. That's the lesson that we have learned. But this time, this time, it's different, for, I'm sure of it, because of the program left behind by Chihiro. After we found some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, I'm sure. This is a long episode. Little kids have it so easy because they can put little in front of their name and right off the bat everyone thinks they're so cute. Well, fine then. I want everybody to start calling me Little Monokuma. Let's see. Try adding that. My cuteness goes up by at least 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough littles in it. More little would lead to a salvation of the world. Just imagine little arsonist, little war criminal, little destructive destruction of the environment, little hit and run, little death tag, little great depression. Even the darkest, Even the darkest subject can suddenly sorry. become <laughs> Our dreams are oh. expanding, ding, ding! Oh my god, Monokuma. Be a 7 o'clock announcement. Morning. Get ready. Well then, guess we should head to the dining hall. And that is what we'll do in the next episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching this episode. Hopefully you guys have a phenomenal rest of your day. Sorry for the long one. Um, but sometimes that has to happen. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys then. Oh, no, no, no. Don't save it in the random slot.